Does your Android device run a little slow? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are five ways to make your Android device run a little faster. In the last major update, Google introduced Project Butter, which incorporates VSync, triple buffering, and a better touch responsiveness in an attempt to snuff out the performance issues that Android has been associated with over the years. Pair that with modern processors and GPUs, and you have yourself a recipe for extremely well-performing machines. However, that's not always the case. Sometimes phones don't perform as intended, and sometimes things are a little slower than you would like. Fortunately, the fix for that is just a few steps away. You can achieve a faster experience through applications and even some of the stock settings on your Android device. One of the first things you should do if you want to speed up your phone and your experience with Android is replace the launcher. Download a third-party launcher such as Nova Launcher or Launcher Pro, ADW, there are hundreds of these launcher replacements in the Play Store. And what they do is they give you an extended set of options that make the experience a little faster. For example, when you're on your home screen, the stock home screen, and you slide left and right from your pages, there's an animation associated with every move. With these third-party launchers, you can disable any of those animations or speed them up. The difference, while it may not seem like much, is very, very noticeable. Scrolling back and forth between your pages is noticeably faster. If you want to switch between your applications more quickly, there are a couple options. The first of which is Glovebox. Basically, it is the experience you would get on Ubuntu on your Android device. Slide from either side of the display, either left or right depending on how you set it up, and slide your finger over the icon of the application you want to launch. You can do this over and over and quickly switch between all of the applications on your device. Glovebox is highly customizable. You can set different themes. You select which applications are in the dock and you can select how sensitive the dock is and other settings. It's available for free and there is an in-app purchase to unlock more settings. Another more highly customizable way to switch between your applications quickly is called Swipe Pad. This one you can set up hot areas on the corners, on the sides, or on the top or bottom of the display. And the way it works is a quick swipe from one of those areas will bring up a launcher. From there, depending on which extensions you have installed, you can open widgets, shortcuts, applications, all sorts of things. It's quick, intuitive, and it really speeds up the experience. Using this side-by-side -side with Glovebox, the two really change the experience of Android completely. Much like the animations on the home screen, there are animations that occur when you open an application, close an application, or when you're switching between apps. This can be toggled by accessing the developer options menu in the settings app. Navigate to settings and scroll down to developer options. You may have to activate this if you haven't already, which is simply done by clicking on about phone and tapping on the build number until developer options are unlocked. Once you go into the developer options menu, there are three settings which you should be focused on window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. All of these by default are set to 1x, but you can change it to either a more noticeable animation or completely get rid of them and turn the animations off. What this does is when you close applications, they'll close much more quickly. They don't shrink down to the middle and disappear. They simply just disappear. There's no animation anymore and everything occurs a little more quickly. The final way to make Android feel a little faster is to stop using a task killer. Don't listen to what everyone's told you. You do not need something to kill the tasks in the background. Android is not like your computer. You don't have to manage your tasks and processes. Android does it for you. And you don't think of RAM on Android like you think of it on a computer. It manages itself, and as it's needed, it clears it up. Having your RAM full doesn't necessarily slow your phone down. When your phone needs more resources, it kills those applications, clears them from the RAM, and you're good to go. But, as I'm showing you here, however, you can go back into the developer's options, and you can tell the phone to kill any application as soon as you leave it. So even if you hit the home button or the back button, the application is absolutely killed whenever you back out of it. What this does is it clears up from the cache, it's no longer in the RAM, and when you open it back up, it has to redraw the application. It has to reload any of the information, it's not there readily available. And the problem you see with this is every time you go home, every time you open an app, anything you do, the applications and the home page even, has to be redrawn and it takes longer. It feels clunky, stuttery, and it's just not smooth. And this is exactly what happens when you do use a task killer. So just don't do it if you want a faster experience. If you've done all of this and your phone just still is not fast enough, there are still options for you. You can root your device and apply a different kernel. One that has been recommended to me many times is the Franco kernel. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm probably going to this weekend. And you can also overclock your device if that's your thing. There are options beyond belief. You can install the AOSP browser instead of the Chrome browser for a faster browsing experience. 
and so on and so forth. The options are unlimited once you root your device. I hope these tips helped and I hope your phone is moving a little faster now. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and find us on your favorite social networks. You can find us on Google Plus at Plus Pocket Now, on Twitter at Pocket Now Tweets or Facebook at facebook.com slash pocket now. I'm Taylor Martin and have a great weekend.